Hey everyone, this is Warbird Frank. Welcome to another episode of War Thunder. Today I am flying out the F2H2 Banshee. Um, this aircraft quiet is requested quite a bit uh, for good reason. You know, people want to know how to fly. I'm actually getting getting the hang of it now that I I actually know how to fly a little bit. It is a defensive fighter. Um, you need to be very careful and selective about your targets, how you approach, when you approach it, how you're going to approach it. I just said that twice, but I don't give two shits. Um, I, I really don't have anything against it, except, you know, I suck in it. So, let's just let's just leave it at that. I'm a good jet pilot, not a great... Well, I'm a great jet pilot. I'm not a pro jet pilot. There's like a difference, you know. There's other guys out there that are better than me, but I just know the, know the twists and turns and the maneuverability and, you know, how to survive, basically. Uh, we're going up against the Germans, which I'm pretty sure we're going to be going up against Hortons and 262s, I assume. I would assume so. So what we're going to do is we're going to climb up over here to the side, see what happens. Yeah, let's zoom clear. Sorry about that. Aloha Snake Bar. Now, this aircraft doesn't do too good at high speeds, though. Um, it's big wing low, you know, it's big wings, unfortunately, doesn't make it go faster. I mean, you know, maneuver better, I should say. But, you know, it, it all comes down to pilot. If you guys look very carefully um, at the wings, those are P-51 Mustang wings. Um, if you guys look closely, those are the laminar flow wings. At the time, scientists thought, you know, this is a good wing design. Why don't we use it on our jets? Well, it did work to a certain extent. It helped them, you know, maneuver better at low speeds and control the aircraft better at high speeds as well. But unfortunately, the downfall was its straight wing design, which slowed it down a little bit. Um, it's not until it's not until they thought about the swept back wing, which was implemented on the F eighty six. Saber and their and Russian MiG 15s that they thought, well, this is this is a it's not an outdated form of wing design, it's just you know, it's not effective on jet aircraft. The laminar flow wing was outdated, but it was still pretty useful for their props, so they applied it to their props, you know, recon, stuff like that, ground strike, anything you could think of. However, the swept wing design was far superior because it reduced drag, it increased stability, and it increased maneuverability. So that that that's the downside of having a lavender uh, flow wing. The lavender flow wing was straight. It reduced speed, but because of the straight wing design, it still had issues. As you can tell, it has two engines. Those engines are placed in on the side of the fuselage and stuff like that. It's very, it's very, very, it's it's a very um, complicated aircraft. I, I'm not, I don't really feel like telling you the information about this aircraft right now. I just want to show you some gameplay. All right, so so far we see a two six two. So so far so good. Doesn't seem like there's any potential threat. I don't know what. Oh, that's a C variant. The hell? Oh, he did. Alright, well, first kill. Not bad. Alright, how many do we have left? Alright, let's get up to altitude. Zoom climb. Alright, so far it's two to two.
Yeah, this thing zoom climbs pretty well. So I'm going to use that to my advantage. Alright, so Horton 229, bigger threat, but I feel like the 109 is more of an easy kill. Admittedly, that's steel clubbing, okay? Let's just get that straight, okay? But, you know, 109's props can actually trick you and stuff like that, so I would suggest getting rid of them more than anything. Because in the in the end, they will come back and bite you in the ass. Not even joking, I've had, I can't even tell you how many times I had that happen to me before. Alright, quick burst. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. I don't see how this is remotely fair, to be honest. Um... The Horn 229, you know, it could handle itself, okay? Just just letting you know, it could handle itself. But at the same time, it can't. Not with these aircraft. I mean, you put it up against stuff like this, it's it's practically useless. Unless you, you, you have it in the hands of a good uh, pilot. You, you know what I mean, guys? Anyway, going too fast. Yeah, let's not get greedy. Use our speed that we built up. Check your six all the time. Yeah, this thing doesn't want to pull up too hard. Nope, don't get too greedy on that. Alright, that guy's dead. Yep, he's dead. Alright, well, the F2H2 is a very simple aircraft. I'm going to put it in that terms. It's a very simple aircraft. I, I personally don't like it. Well, I, I have mixed feelings about it. I'm not going to say it's the greatest aircraft. I'm not going to say it's a seal clubber. I'm not going to say, you know, it's... It, it, you know, that it has its purpose. I'm just saying that it will handle itself if you could get it into the right matchmaking however the aircraft what you need to know about the aircraft is it is not maneuverable at high speeds it is at maneuverable somewhat maneuverable at low speeds it's somewhat maneuverable at at look look at that I mean when I'm going slow this thing actually turns pretty decently but if you're going at high speeds there's no way you're gonna survive this thing does not want to turn at high speeds However, the main advantage of this aircraft is it doesn't accelerate too fast. I mean, it accelerates decently, but the number one thing you have over every aircraft with this with this aircraft, the F2 H2 Banshee is its climb rate. I've noticed that quite a bit that the climb rate just, you know, it doesn't want to lose speed and whatnot. In my opinion, the aircraft itself was I mean, is somewhat of a bipolar kind of aircraft in my opinion there's nothing you could do about that to be honest um, anything over here look like it Just hit back to base But you know, it's it's somewhat of a, a aircraft you need to be selective in. 
choose your targets right and you'll be fine. Look, the F2H2 overall, it, it's 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 an aircraft you want to be careful in. Look, okay. So the F2H2 is a navy based fighter, okay? It was meant for intercepting but unfortunately did not get that chance due to the fact that you know it was slow most of the United States aircraft are always turned into somewhat of a ground striking mission um, and the failing uh, interceptors would be converted into ground strike aircraft to save money most of the time now the F2H2 Banshee was equipped I believe with the engine with the freaking um, Westinghouse J uh, J30 WE34, I believe, or uh, 35 or the 34, I don't remember. I, I I mean I know it's a it's a it's a Westinghouse uh, engine. Those things weren't as reliable as General Electronics or um, Pratt and Whitney. I know the maximum speed of it was 580 miles per 85 86 to and then convert that into kilometers you got like around 936 kilometers at mm, some, somewhere around there I know the service ceiling was quite high like 46,000 feet so you convert that into convert that into into meters you got uh, 14,000 meters I believe I you know the climb rate was 30 me meters per second, so that's pretty outstanding, okay? I mean, look at the aircraft, you know. It looks slow, but, you know, it's a jet. All right, guys, like and subscribe to become a Warbird today, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of War Thunder. Warbird out.